Okay, so here I'm at getboostrap.com. I'm just going to download the zip file and I'm just going to put it in the downloads folder. Okay, now I'm going to head over to the folder and unzip the content. All right, so let's go to that folder and to the distribution folder. Let's grab these CSS fonts and JavaScript folders. And let's go back in the downloads folder and make a projects folder. Let's put everything in there. And here I just need a index file, index.html. Okay, let's open that. Oops, let's open that in Sublime. There we go. Let me just start simple HTML and load the CSS on JavaScript. All right, I just um, added the CSS and JavaScript. So here's a Java, here's a CSS. I have the CSS and I have the JavaScript. So if you want to center the page, you can still use the container container div. And as usual, you can create the row with the class row. Now the difference is that in Bootstrap three you have four classes. Let's head over to the documentation here in CSS grid system. And here you can see the list of the classes that you can use. So here are the classes for very small screens, small devices like tablets, medium sized desktops, and large desktops. So Bootstrap 3 defaults to mobile if you don't specify anything, but with these four classes you have more flexibility. So let's say here that we want to make a row with two divs, each six column wide, and we want them to be for large screens. So the class that you would use is large six so this is the first one, and I'm just going to add the second one. So in large screens, these divs are going to be treated as six. They're going to be six column wide. And I'm just going to add some content so we can actually see it. So this is left, and this is going to be right. Let me just um, put it down here so we can actually view it. So as you can see this is how it looks in large desktops. And if you scale it down it's going to stack up. It's going to be its uh, default behavior because uh, Bootstrap 3 is concentrated more on mobile. So mobile first that's why. Now I can say that in medium sized devices treat the first one as three column and the right one as nine. And you have more flexibility. You can also add small screens. So for the small screens, I'm going to make it two. And I'm going to make the right one 10. And for very small mobile size, we're just going to make them stack up. So it's going to span over 12 columns. Now, if I resize, you see that it's different in different browsers. I'm sorry, different viewport size. So that's basically a very simple introduction to the new Bootstrap grid system. I'm going to talk about mixins in the next video and talk about the ways you can make the HTML more semantic using mixins.